Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas to all. I know some of y'all just got NBA 2K24 and you want to know how to get your bill to a 99 fast and your badge is fast. Well, hit that like button. I'm about to show you all the secrets you need. Yo, cho, wag on everybody. Y'all, man, giving me back with a new video. Merry Christmas to all. Hopefully, you guys got what you wanted for Christmas, and hopefully, you've been having a good Christmas. In this video, you're going to be seeing the best way to grind badges or overall in this game. And really, there's no real better way than to do this because it requires nothing other than just literally coming over here where you see Sunset Park. Let me highlight it on the map for you. When you see this big circle right here, it's going to be over to the left and you'll see it highlighted right there. You don't have to play any games to unlock this park. Then once you get around here, all you're going to do is run around here. I see some people are already over here, right? Run around here, run around here, run around here. And then you'll see this. There's going to be a guy right here and he looks like annoying TV. Obviously, when you click on that, when you when you when you press X on the guy, he's going to pull up this menu for you. And this is the only time you're going to have to talk to him. My suggestion is you go ahead and complete 5-0's challenge, beat 5-0, all right? Make sure you're not guarding him unless you're a big man because he's going he's gonna to violate you, all right? Just that simple. So especially, like I said, if you're not a big man or somebody with defense, do not guard 5-0. Guard one of these dudes. Beat him. Then you load up again. Use 5-0 this time because once you beat them, they're on your team, right? Use 5-0 and put him on Rotten Rodney which is a high flyer. You guard anybody, I would suggest you guard this dude and you put 5-0 on him, right? And then you put this guy with a bucket hat on, right? Slasher. And then once you have both of these people unlocked, you don't need to play any of this stuff because it really don't give you nothing extra, right? All it's gonna give you is some pants when you beat all of them and then you get to go to the next one. Now you do need to beat all of them to get that accelerator. So I already have accelerator, but like I said, if you don't care about accelerator right now, and you're just trying to get your build up, focus on your build the next thing i would do is i would go play disco put 5-0 on disco you guard this dude i like to guard disco because all i gotta do is sit paint because he's a rim runner and i have some interior defense so what i would do is just sit paint if you're somebody that has defense sit paint and let him tr come try dunk on you because he's not as overpowered as he used to be he used to dunk on two all three people at one time no matter who is down there no he's kind of weak in that paint so unless he gets a really good start and, you're, and he catches you lacking, he can still put you on that earth. All right. Honestly, once you get Accelerator, if you're not worried about Accelerator right now, what I would just do is, like I said, play against this goal because it's going to be the smallest lineup you're going to be playing against. It's three guards. You get to pick on them. You get to dunk on them. You get to throw oops on them. And when I say throw oops, that's what I'm about to be showing you. When you throw oops in this game, five oops. This is the maximum amount of points you can get, by the way. The maximum amount of points you can get is off oops. If you throw five oops, it don't matter what you do after that, right? 15,000 buy points is what you get per game, no matter what, right? And in my career, you can get over that, but it's going to take more time. You see, when you throw five oops, despite if you're having turnovers or not, when you throw five oops, if you're playing defense, you can end the game in just five oops. And you get a full 15,000 points, even if all you did was play for two minutes. It's undefeated. So what I do when I'm trying to get overall, you see right here, I'm throwing it up no matter what. I don't care if it's a good read or not. I'm throwing it up because I have two goons on the squad with me. 5-0 on Rotten Rodney. Them boy, they don't play. They don't play around. They don't shake around. And y'all, my game is just going to throw it up. I know that one of them is going to catch it. And when they catch it, the meter at the bottom of the screen is going to fill up. And if you're playing defense and you force the opponent not to score, it's going to keep filling up. But sometimes you can't do nothing. If they score, it's going to take the meter, take it away and put some on theirs. All right. But regardless, is regardless of if you don't fill up the shutdown meter, guess what? This still works. Throw the oop regardless. Even if they miss it, all you need to do is focus on throwing oops. Just keep running and pressing L1 or LB for Xbox and wait until they roll. Throw the oop. Once you throw the oop, now I have two assists. All right, I have two assists. You want to get five oops. Win or loss, get five oops. All right. If you lose this game, don't worry. You can play it back. It's going to give you an option right there to retry it again. What I would do is I'll quit out, save the my points. And guess what? Try again. All right, because you want to keep the my points. So you don't want to waste time. So, but you shouldn't be losing because these are bots. And I know you're not a bot. All right. So 
I have two assists. I'm going to keep trying to throw oops. Now, I do like to dribble. So sometimes that's a downfall because I like to combo up, man. This is something, this is a way that I use to practice my L2 cancels, practice my dribbling and stuff like that. But the goal is still to get as much my points as possible. Now, if you're doing this method and you are playing defense, and you're not wasting time dribbling. You're just throwing oops, playing defense, forcing them not to score. You can literally get a 99 overall or a 95 because you really don't need 99 overall this year. I think if you hit 94 to 95 overall, you don't need anything higher than that. So that should be your goal. Get at least 94 overall to 95 and you're good. I always stop at 93 because I fill up all the stats that I use at 93. Then to me, that builds maxed out. You do not need a 99 build in this game. Just fill out the attributes that are important to your build. All right. Just a, a, a little advice right there. You do not need anything higher than a 93 or 94. So I like to dribble. I'm going to throw the oop even if he doesn't catch it. And sometimes I can already see that they're going to cut it off. But I'm cool with it, bro. I, I'm not sitting here in a rush. If you're in a rush, you know, don't dribble. Just use the screen, run. If it's not there, come back up to the three-point line and then call for the screen again. And that's how you get your overall up fast. Now, for badges, it's going to be a little bit different this year. See, in the previous years, you couldn't lose badges. You had to earn badges each and every single one of them. You would never start off unless you were rebirth with badges already there. You see, this year, no matter what your overall is, as long as you have the attributes filled up, you're going to start off with badges on bronze. Every badge is going to be starting off on bronze unless you have rebirth. When you have rebirth, everything starts off on silver. Like I said, these are people that just got the game. Some of y'all probably don't know this that already had the game, but mostly this is for people that just got the game. When you're a rebirth, everything starts off on silver. This year, you can lose badge progression if you're not doing the things that you need to do. So here's how I negate that when I'm grinding builds. I only upgrade, upgrade what I know I'm going to be using every game when I'm overall grinding. So if I'm going to be overall grinding, I'm only putting up my passing, I'm putting up my dribbling, and I'm putting up my acceleration and my speed with ball because I need speed booster. And speed booster, I only keep it on silver, right? But you can put it all the way up to gold. I did end up putting on the gold because I already grind the build to where I need to. But while I'm grinding the build, I keep everything on silver for the most part. And when I'm ready, when I'm finished, like grinding to 93 overall, I literally just upgrade everything else now and start working on what I need to work on, which is pretty much easy because, yeah, you, you need to put up your three points to at least an 80. If I'm talking about for guards, if you have a build that doesn't go to an 80, just put it up to where you can shoot because even though you're setting screens, I mean, calling screens and throwing oops, you're still going to have some times where you're like, I already have the five oops and the game's not over. So let me just go ahead now and just try to shoot a shot or something, right? So that's what I do. If I already have five oops, which I already have here, I'm literally just trying to shoot shots and just have fun at this point because my work is already finished, right? And I activate playmaking and takeover to make the oops throwing easier. Now, look, you see right here, it took me the 15 points to shut it down. But normally when I'm really playing for real and I'm trying to XP grind to get my overall up, what I really do is I clamp them down and I don't let them score so I can shut it down in literally five to, you know, five assist or five assists and a dunk or, or, or assist or anything to shut it down completely and that's what i would do to get my overall up now like i said to get badges you're just gonna do what you want to do to get those badges right you see i got 15,000 my points and i promise you i know it took a long time showing you this game because i was dribbling but normally it doesn't take this long i'm literally just playing around all right Usually when I'm really locked in and I'm just trying to get my XP and my overall up, I'm just running and I'm not really doing no dribbling. I'm just running and I'm throwing the oops. Now, if you want to get your shooting badges up, guess what you have to do? In this game, you have to shoot. Dribbling, you're going to get your dribbling badges no matter what. Anchor Breaker po pops up pretty much every time you do a snatch back on these bots. If you want to get your speed booster, just make sure you're running. All right, just run with the ball and you get your speed booster. Hit some combos and get your speed booster, handles for days. All that stuff is going to come easily. Now, I shoot any and everything because I like to practice when I'm playing. All right, so when I go to the regular game online, it's going to be the same thing. Now, this is how I would recommend you get shooting badges. Call for the screen because these bots are going to clamp that stuff up unless you're fading every shot. And this build only got an 86 three-pointer. So I'm not fading every shot because I don't want to lose my lethals and my hot zones. I don't. All right. I will fade every shot. Yes, it's easy to do, but I'm not trying to do all that over again, bro. I like to dribble and sauce up. So just call for the screen, bro, and try to, you know, I do do some crazy stuff sometimes, like right here, shooting a fade. 
you know i didn't expect for it to make me fade but i'm shooting any and everything just because it's just fun at this point i already got everything i need to shooting them fades like i said i usually wait till i have takeover to shoot the fades but once you're done your 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 meter pretty much should be close to maxed out or maxed out already you just need a couple more things to fade, finish maxing it out i just like to combo up practice my moves while i tackle two things at one time and honestly it's going to take longer to shut it down when you're shooting compared to just throwing five oops but it's not hard to shut it down you shut it on you in the game quicker and guess what your badge progression goes up for me most of my shooting badges is already maxed and you have things in this game called floor setters floor setters pretty much enables you to put a badge even if you don't have it on the highest level already you can put it on the highest level that floor setter is you have gold and silver gold puts a badge from bronze to gold or silver to gold and silver it locks it in at silver all right so you get that at level 40 on some seasons and 39 on some seasons all right just depends so you're probably going to get your first one and i think this one is at level 40. you see right there i got what i got hopefully this helped you guys that just got the game and some of you guys had the game and you didn't even know this hopefully that helped you man merry christmas big up on yourself and big lord almighty we're gone